All right, folks, we're sitting here in uh, OBS Studio. If you've never seen it before, this is a screen capture program. Um, one of the big advantages of the new monitor is it records in 1080p, 1920 by 1080, because that's the resolution coming out of the PC. The old monitor forced it to use... 1400 by 900. When you try to change the settings on that, you know, crimp it down, I shoot everything at 720. So let's go up here. And what do we got here? Um, I can't change it, but it's going to put out 1280 by 720. Very cool. No big deal. So, all that being said, we're going to minimize this, continue talking. And I'm going to show you some of the other stuff I whined about yesterday. Okay. Now this is the monitor I received, near as I can figure, uh, by looking at the model number on the back. There's like another 50 letters back here and numbers. But 1923R. And it looks just like it. Now... My first complaints were, and here's what we were promised, by the way. This is the straight 1920. It's older. It has a DVI input and a HDMI input. It also has the audio out, and it has two speakers. And I was all thrilled that those have two speakers, so if everything else fails, at least the monitor has some speakers. Okay, now... It turns out, after further checking, guess what? If you scroll down through here, uh -huh. color is viewing angle. I'm probably going to scroll right past. Yeah, there we go. Built in speakers. Two, two watt, eight ohm speakers. They ain't fancy. They come up the bottom through a grill. On, the, on this one, I think they would have come out here and here, or these two things would have been the speaker. But, the one thing that I was disappointed about, see this has the inputs here, and power comes in over there. Um, it looks like it uses a Mickey Mouse style AC power cord. Um, we're not going to worry about that. And it has the buttons on the bottom, which I think is kind of convenient. Uh, I could put my Visa mount, or VESA, whatever you want to call it, for my Zotac right there. It wouldn't have interfered with this at all. Now if you go to this one, and we have to scroll up a bit. Yes, yeah, see the, this, that ain't happening. Can't put it there. Now you can take these two screws out, remove this mount and stand, and then mount this to a wall. Comes with some little standoffs, and then you can hook it up to, uh, say one of those uh, maybe you got a, one of those boom things that you can hang a monitor from and move it around because you have a super fancy desk on the other hand this has two HDMI inputs and a VGA and also the audio out in and out if you want uh, you know through a 3.5 if you want to use a set of headphones okay and it has the speakers along the bottom uh, great, fantastic. Um, they both have a 75 hertz refresh rate, but two HDMI versus one HDMI, one DVI. Now, I wouldn't have had a problem with that because I have a HDMI to DVI adapter left over from my Dell, and it uses the same pin arrangement that this one would have had. Or the other one. But now if I want to say hook my Chewy tablet to it. Or any other tablet for that matter. Guess what? Uh huh. I would be able to. Plug in from the. Micro HDMI or mini HDMI. Whatever it's called. On the tablet. Out to. This big old monitor 
That would be super neat. Or it just would have. As far as the front goes, they are virtually identical. Uh, yeah, they have different pictures to show you, but uh, the other one was Windows 8 compatible, supposedly. That's how old the model was. Although, still, I think these buttons along the bottom are very slick. So that's really all I've got uh, for today. But just squaring things away, I'm still checking out the on-screen display. I'm not going to be able to show you that. I guess I could do screen captures all day. Uh, you know, with the keyboard, uh, you know, hit print screen, put them in the game. But we're not doing that today. We're going to keep this short. And, of course, in OBS Studio, this is going to end up being, it might be five, six, seven minutes I've been talking. It's not going to be more than 40 megabytes at most. That'll be it. So, as usual, give us a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. Click the subscriber bell. And share this video with everyone you know. Everyone. Put it on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You know, send it to your grandmother in an email. I don't care. And it doesn't take but a second to share it, especially on Twitter. Twitter is like, poof, it's shared. Okay, uh, that's all for today. Catch you in the next one.